Mr. Chairman, uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear friends, thank you very much. It is uh, indeed uh, a great pleasure being uh, in Moscow for uh, this ITI meeting. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted uh, that uh, I have received the in, in invitation uh, and I can present some of the data from my team. The first lecture this morning will be on uh, the factors for success in relation to guided bone regeneration procedures. And uh, um, we will be discussing a number of uh, preclinical experimental studies and we will try to associate them with the, uh, clinical, the different clinical scenarios. When we talk about Garibone regeneration, as we know, we talk about a concept, about a biological principle, where we place a membrane on top of a defect, and in that way we allow time and space to the bone cells to occupy the defect and recreate the alveolar ridge as it used to be before the lesion. Now, if we look at the different surgical procedures, we know that uh, all type of procedures, all type of surgical procedures have some factors which will um, make it easier or make it more difficult for us and it will allow predictable bone regeneration or not. And the point that I need to emphasize here is that this bone regeneration needs to be maintained over time. Now, if we try to put the uh, need for GBR at, uh, at, the clinical, at the different clinical scenarios that we do, uh, we know today, and we will discuss all of these subjects, that we use GBR for large bony defects. We will use GBR, which is the most commonly used procedure as well, for covering exposed threads in association with implant dentistry. And of course, today, uh, a significant part of the GBR procedures will be for the reach or the so-called socket preservation. 